the floor made up in robot. Hello everyone. Recently I found something that I could never expect in my whole life. It all started when I went into my basement to look for my old stuff I had before. There I found my laptop, running on Windows 7. As a kid, my parents bought me this laptop at Christmas in 2010. I used it a lot to play video games, checking different websites at the time, etc. My favorite one was the official Nickelodeon website. If I could remember, I watched a lot of videos like Chaotic, The Mighty Bee, etc. But my favorite one was of course, SpongeBob SquarePants. I was a huge fan back in the day when I saw the show, it was entertaining to me and I loved the main character's personality, especially his comedy. Therefore I decided to record the episodes with Bandicam screen recorder. The reason why I did it is because, if I can remember, it was to show it to my friends about the latest episodes of Spongebob and their reactions. After all that, I turned on my Windows 7 laptop and it worked perfectly. I went to File Explorer and checked some of my old screen recording videos until I found one that didn't look right at all. It was something new and unseen before from SpongeBob SquarePants. I was thinking myself that it could be a hijacking as there isn't any proof of this thing to happen from any episode. So it started with the episode title card called, Your Shoes and Tide, from Season 2 Episode 1. Everything was going fine at first until around 2.20, when Spongebob was about to speak, it glitched and cut to black. Around 5 seconds, the image goes back but with something different this time. The Spongebob image changed to him having a lot of small holes on his face and his clothes being dirty. After another 5 seconds later, it cut back to the episode, but this time in the bed part where Spongebob wakes up and goes to work, but when he fell down, the screen goes blue and cut to black again. 7 seconds later, it cut back to the same Spongebob image before, but this time it was more brighter. Then another 7 seconds later, it cuts to black and returns back to the episode. It was at the Krusty Krab, but before it could continue, it immediately cut to black again. A few seconds later, it cuts to another image, a picture of a dark forest. It was silent, and then it cuts to black again. After that, a clip appeared, revealing someone running in the forest. There was footsteps coming from behind me while I could hear a voice of a crying woman, saying, Help! Someone help! Then the camera fell and it cuts to black again. Around 15 seconds later, a new image appeared, with the Nickelodeon logo and text saying, This video is no longer available. Choose another video to watch instead. And finally, the video ends. After watching the entire video, I was shocked. I never expected in my whole life having this in my old files when I was a kid. I don't remember anything about this until right now, I decided to investigate by downloading the images and clip. What I found was horrifying. So on July 23, 2010, a woman named Scarlett Munchkin was found dead in a forest of Cherokee, Tennessee. Two forest service guards found her lying down on the ground. Her deceased body was disturbing as they said in quote, too many holes. Not only they found the dead body, they also found an old camera near to her. The police agent checked it and the only thing they could find was the same image of the dark forest I saw in that video. To this day, I'm so confused and choked at the same time. I have a lot of questions on how that clip got into the official Nickelodeon website and who was the killer behind all this. Again to this day, I still don't know.